Hello, hope everyone's having a great day. I'm excited to take a few minutes to share with you about our foundations. So I've got a couple options here for you to see. So this is our matte wear foundation and this is our CC cream, which is kind of similar to like tinted moisturizer. BB cream, it's like the next generation of BB cream. So CC stands for complexion corrector. So it really helps to control redness. Um, it has age fighting to it. It is it has that tinted moisturizer feel to it, a little bit more of a luminous. If you have oily skin, may not be your go-to. Uh, it's really great if you like super lightweight, sheer, but great coverage. Another tip, if you go with the one of the darker shades, you can actually use it as a su instant self tanner. Like if you've got to go out and you're like, ah, my legs are like glow in the dark. Um, you can do the darker, the very dark and just moisturize first, rub it on and you're good to go. So that is exciting with that one. And then we have two different versions of our cream foundation. This is our matte wear foundation, and we also have a luminous foundation. Both are age fighting, and so your matte foundation helps to control oil throughout the day. It has oil absorbing spears to help control the oil. If you're using the luminous foundation, it's going to add moisture. So it's going to give you up to 12 hours of moisture. The matte wear is going to give you up to 12 hours of oil absorption which is awesome. And I'm going to use first, I just realized that this is really well loved. So this is our Time Wines Foundation Primer. So for those of you that may have not used Foundation Primer before, this is amazing. So your Foundation Primer basically fills in any minor imperfections, allows your foundation to go on better, last longer, use less of it. It helps to make your pores look smaller. It has an SPF 15. This is my can't live without. See, I've got some shine here. Um, and so this is, I'm going to put, see, this is what it looks like. Looks like Vaseline, feels like silk. So see how... Can you see how it just like takes the shine away? So I don't know if you can tell from one side to the other, but it's pretty fantastic. Um, I'll use this on its own sometimes. I use this on my kids. It's amazing sunscreen for them and it feels like silk. So they never fight me in putting it on. So that is our uh foundation primer i had a little bit much so i'm going to give it a second just to tone down then we have one of my favorites this is our under eye corrector we naturally have a bluish purple tinge underneath our eye and so this is going to help to counteract that if you if you're somebody that always looks tired this is going to be your best friend so i just dab it on I'm usually pretty quick in working with it um, in the fact that you know some people use fancy brushes and all kinds of stuff and I'm really just kind of lazy and do it quick so can you see how it just has less it's more even and less of that bluey purple in there so I'm gonna do this side too because I'm actually I put it on my eyelids too Kind of gives it a good even base. Sometimes our eyelids, because the skin is thinner on our eyes, the skin around our eyes has, um, it just evens out the skin tone, really. I'll also, for a pick-me-up in the afternoon, if I feel like I really need, um, if I'm looking tired, I'll just do a few dabs of the under eye corrector underneath, and it just totally perks me up. Okay, so I'm going to use our matte wear foundation. We also have mineral powder foundations. We have press powder and we have cream to powder. So I'm using about like that. And this is how I put it on. I just 
put it on all over like this. Oh, now that's in there. And then just so get that on. If you were using your fingers to blend it, you could just go from there. I'm gonna use my Mary Kay brush. I love this brush. Flat on the end, it just blends amazingly. If you are watching this through a party, you can go ahead and um, let me know what your favorite kind of foundation or what do you like the most in your foundation? Do you want even cover, like, do you want coverage? Do you want age fighting? Do you want SPF? Do you want lightweight? There we go. So the purpose of your foundation is to create an even palette uh, for you to work with. Sometimes that means it's gonna be a little bit lighter than your actual face because we want it to match your neck. And sometimes our face is a little bit darker. So, um, we're gonna add, create an even palette with your foundation and then you can add other stuff for that. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my Mary Kay Finishing Spray, give it a spray, adds up, to, lasts up, makes your makeup last up to 16 hours. If you're doing a hardcore workout, maybe not, but it certainly lasts decently through your workout as well. And then I'm gonna add our translucent powder. So this is our flawless finish. I'm gonna use our all over powder brush. And then I usually just kind of dip it in here like that. I've kind of done that already, but, and then I just pat it into place. So, foundation is done. I always, this stuff, if you need your makeup to last, if you got an important event or something or you just want it to last all day and you struggle with your makeup disappearing, finishing spray is the bomb. So you can do this once at the end or you can layer with it, it's awesome. So that is our foundation, I usually, after I'm done my foundation, because I do it everywhere, I usually take a Q-tip and just clean off my eyebrows. So there you are. Hope you have a great day.